Following that misencounter, the House has approved a bill that will give more teeth to the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Our chief correspondent, Ed Lingao, joins us to talk more about this. Ed. Hi, Robbie. Uh, Ed, we were talking about this uh, just yesterday, so, so the chiefs. This, this has mm. a, a lot of controversial aspects to, it, to the point, in fact, that the original author is no longer an author. Tell us about that. Well, okay. Well, you're, of course, you're, you're talking about the Congressman Rufi Biazon. Uh, he did back out because of uh, disagreements over uh, the provisions that uh, provide for uh, presumption of uh, guilt on the part of those who are accused. Now, that flies against uh, the, the principle of uh, presumption of innocence based on uh, Article 3, Section 14 of the Constitution. So th that, is, uh, that is a big issue for a lot of the people who are opposing this bill. Unfortunately, if you look at the numbers in Congress, uh, clearly uh, the bill had the majority, actually two-thirds almost, hmm. of, uh, of the congressional vote. You had 188 uh, congressmen who voted in favor of this bill. So obviously, uh, the bill has a lot of support still in Congress. Uh, but, versus what? Uh, 11 people who opposed. Yeah, but how do they address that question? I mean, it's one very precise question. Isn't this unconstitutional? Yes. Yes, that is true. That's uh, Article 3, Section uh, 14. Uh, however, the bill's author, Congressman Robert East Barbers, insists that the burden of proof is still or will still remain with the prosecution. However, and this is a big however, a burden of evidence is also being passed on to the accused. What that means basically is that the accused now also has to prove why, for example, he was present in a crime scene or why a drug transaction was taking place in his res restaurant. So in other words, uh, both now both the accuser and the accused are tasked with separately proving both of their claims, whereas before it was the accuser who was given just the burden. So presumably there is no diminution on the burden of the accuser, but there is clearly an added burden on the one who is now being accused. And Robbie, if I may, if I may just add, I do remember uh, Congressman Barbers uh, saying that uh, uh, there are uh, other laws uh, that, uh, that uh, have this kind of a presumption that have been accepted and that are in the law books. However, there's a big difference here because he was citing the libel law uh, mm. that is uh, contained in the revised penal code. But that is a law that was passed in uh, 1930 by the Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth uh, Parliament. So mm. that predates both the 1935 Constitution and the 1987 Constitution. So now you're looking at a new law that is being passed under the present Constitution that precisely bars that kind of a provision. Mm. Okay, well, in any case, Ed, sounds like another episode for the Chiefs. Maraming salamat, Ed Lingao.